Shuggabuggas, welcome back to the channel for yet another speed build. I promise you I am not running out of video ideas. Actually, I have a ton of ideas and a lot of things I got to do with so little time. Anyways, it's really not necessarily a speed build, but more of a trailer transformation. The trailer and Chloe's story. So uh, finally, you guys, Chloe's mustered up the uh, skills <laughs> and also a little bit of cash to be able to give this trailer a much needed overhaul. Um, despite what you may think, this trailer actually actually doesn't belong to Chloe and Nikki. It's primarily Nikki's and she is currently leasing or renting it from a landlord who was married. His wife had died and so this is kind of like his baby, um, his prized possession, his last, you know, tangible memory of his late wife. And um, he's being very, 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 uh, I don't know how to say feisty lately. Um, Chloe and Nikki are always late behind on the rent. Um, they have let this property go to utter crap. As you guys know, in the earlier parts of the series before Chloe we kind of fixed the walls. There was holes from, from Nikki having like, you know, fits of rage and just taking it out on this place. And you know, the landlord comes in, he does his inspections and he sees these things and he's like threatening them both to get evicted. And of course, Chloe is kind of like, you know, um, the, 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 the mediator between the two and Nikki really doesn't care. Honestly, she's like, you're going to kick me out. You're going to kick me out. Like, <laughs> you know, do what you got to do. But Chloe on the other hand knows if they get evicted, where are they going to go? You know? So she decided to finally come up with this a brilliant idea that if she puts a little bit of money into his, you know, his place, um, will he be more lenient about their past due debts? And he agreed. He said, okay, um, give this trailer an overhaul. Let me check it out. If I approve, I will forgive you guys for all of your debts, which were a lot of money, honestly. It was pretty damn substantial. So the next bill set that we get, he's going to waive it. So uh, I'm not really worried about that too much. However, um, the reason why Chloe is doing this, if you guys don't follow that series, there are a couple who are kind of stuck in this very... Um, dysfunctional whirlwind of a relationship. Their their lives are very toxic, including their environment, if you guys saw um, the deconstruction process of this trailer. So, you know, Chloe kind of thought maybe if she improves their living situations, makes it bright and happy, really like fluid and smooth, that maybe it'll help with Nikki's anxiety because I actually, um, if you guys don't know, uh, struggle with anxiety a lot. And um, I've even have, you know, depression here and there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not like too, you know, loud and proud about it, but it happens. I mean, a lot of people have that. So for me personally, and I think Nikki can also relate to this, um, it's kind of like this really cruel like circle. Um, for me, I get, you know, kind of depressed. I don't get very motivated to clean up or do things. It's not bad. But then when I look around and, you know, things are out of order or the house is in disarray, it makes me have anxiety. So it's like this, this play on play and it's just, oh, it's so frustrating. So, you know, Chloe knows that about Nikki and she thought, well, you know, what? I'll take all the money I can. I'll sell all of our old furniture. You know, I'll keep a couple things that are in good condition and I will do the best I can with it. So I think our overall price range on this renovation wasn't very much. It may have been five or six thousand dollars. That's what I'm going to title this as. Um, so it may give or take been a little bit more. And I think we did really, really well with it. Actually, I honestly love the way that this looks. It almost went from a trailer to more of like a Rambler style house. And I just I'm in love with it. I think it looks really nice. The money uh, where I wanted to spend the most money is I really want to emphasize on the kitchen because you know that Nikki loves to cook. It's her happy place. Um, she isn't very good at it, but it's where she likes to spend the majority of her time. I don't know if it's like, you know, she wants to get close to those knives and she wants to cut a bitch, but no, really though, she genuinely loves being in the kitchen. And I don't know, it's just something for her to focus on, zen out on and, you know, get better at, I guess. So, so we did, we did, we did uh, invest all, well, not all of our money, but a lot of the money in there. And I was going to put in the island, um, but then I decided it was just too kind of small for that. So I didn't do it, but um, I did invest in a nice little table set and we have a fireplace now. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm too keen on where that, um, that TV is. And speaking of a fireplace, actually, I, I do get kind of closer to the end of the build and realize that I am just spreading myself way too thin. Um, there are a couple things in the inventory I just wasn't ready to let go of because I need them later on. <laughs> but then I'm like, mm, I need, I need uh, this house to be complete, to be finished. And there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. So I end up um, actually getting rid of the fireplace because also as much as I loved it and I thought it would, you know, create this romantic aura 
in the living room. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, I decided also, oh, hey, girl, what are you doing with those pillows? Pillow fight. Um, uh, by the way, I'm using a lot of CC, as you can tell. So, <laughs> Happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, so I decided to get rid of the fireplace. Uh, and I also think I did end up selling the antique. I know Nikki is going to kill me because that was actually her great grandfather's. But you got to do what you got to do. Um, the antique uh, globe that also doubles as a drink dispenser. I don't know what the hell you would call that. What is that? I don't even know. So I ended up getting rid of both of those things. Hopefully she would be willing to part with it. Chloe didn't know that's from her great grandfather. She just thought, you know, it was something Nikki had and due to her addiction, she probably really doesn't need it and it'd be best to get rid of that bad juju because there has been many times, many, many times where Nikki has full on like held that baby into her arms and just like sipped all the, all the, um, you know, what is it called? Whiskey? I don't know. Whiskey? What's the one that starts with a B? I'm not much of like a, a hard A kind of drinker, so I don't really know all these names. Bur Burberry? No. It's not Burberry. I know somebody's laughing at me right now. Hello, hard. <laughs> what is it? Let me know in the comments down below. What am, I, what am I thinking of but obviously can't say? Anyway, hopefully that doesn't cause an argument later on in the relationship. But honestly, like the freaking, like the, the, the slightest in Nikki's face at this point would trigger her into a full-blown rage. But anyway, the last few things I wanted to go ahead and add in are just a couple pieces of foliage. <laughs> um, but I didn't really have a lot of money to do that either. I was thinking maybe we'll add in some green grass, but it just looks so tacky and not right and so misplaced because of Oasis Springs. Um, I ended up getting like a really cheap little daisy plant. I decided to place in a pathway. I don't know, it just seemed a little more official and hopefully our landlord will approve. I honestly love this little build. I think it's adorable. I think it suits them and it also is really happy. So hopefully in the next episode, Nikki will improve. Oh, and Chloe, <laughs> she did splurge and finally buy herself a much deserved DJ set. So there's that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this here. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye.